You got to keep the ball down. You got to hit your spots with the wind howling out to center as that pitch is in there for a strike. And have good command of that fastball. I mean, you could just throw it every single, that's a hundred you see there on the gun. <laughs> I mean, he could throw that every single time and didn't really see him too much of him last year. So, so excited to see him out there on the bump. 91 that time, and I'm not sure. That looked like it might have been the changeup. <laughs> I know. That went to the backstop that time, and Carter yanked it glove side. So, Christian Hall, 2-2. Two -two. Called strike three. Home plate umpire David Yule rings up Brown. The second punch out for Carter. And nothing's going to be straight coming out of the hands. He bunts. It's going to be a tough play by Sewell. Can't glove it. It's going to be a bunt single. That is what he does so well. So much speed, and he places it perfectly. He is one stolen base away from tying Charles de France for the most in school history. He's currently at 95. Not easy against the left turn. He's going right away. He's got him picked. Hall's throw is in the left field. Bradfield Jr. slipped. He was thinking about three, and he is content with holding on to that bag at second, right? And so, and he goes, this could be it. Instead, base hit in the left field by Austin. Bradfield Jr. had to jump over the baseball. He's gonna come in to score just like that. That's what Commodore fans wanna see. Two batters in. They lead it one to nothing here in the bottom of the first. And that's what Bradfield does. He gets on first, he takes second, and he tries to take third, gets him in motion. R.J. Austin slaps it down there, and Commodore's quickly with one aboard. And to hop off, almost hopped over the back there at third base, but slows down just in time. Take a look, hops over, chops the feet. I think he would have had the bag too. That high leg kick. Nolan sitting dead red. It's pretty deep. Remember, wind blowing out, straight out, but it's going to be caught out there in right field by Brunswick. Big 2-2 two -two to Enrique Bradfield Jr. Cold strike three. Inside part of the plate, David Yule rings up Radfield Jr. RJ Austin, first pitch swinging, bounces to the third baseman over there, and Abernathy who makes the play. How about JC Sewell getting out of a bases loaded jam? Missing low. That is the second walk issued by number 98 on the mound, and more kind of the, the 70s stash. Bounce over to third, tough play for Austin, ranging to his right. Fires over to first, off target. Nolan came off the bag and heads up base running by Brunchvig to get to third. He's got a lot of power. This is the guy they want up in this spot, up the middle. Could be two. Oh, and it's flipped by Vastine. Diaz couldn't handle it. A run comes in to score. I'm not sure what happened there. So I, I think Vastine thought Diaz was going to take the ball, so he tried to flip it with his glove, and I think Diaz thought that Vastine was going to take it. So you see he tried to get out of the way, and Diaz did. Have cost Vanderbilt in certain spots. As Carter gets a punch out there, backwards K of Brayton Brown. 1-1. One, one. Grounded over to Austin. Austin's going to go to the long route to Nolan, who makes the play, and that is the end of the inning. And overall, in the state of California, the J. Sarah Catholic High School. So this is it pretty well. Now it's off the end of the back. It'll be a tough play. Diving play is made in right. Oh, what a play by Shrek, huh? Listen, Kayla did a piece on him earlier, talked about him. That's a big time play by Shrek and Ryan. Yeah, a heck of a jump here. Gets there, gets there, gets there, lays out full extension, heck of a play. I loved him. That was a tweet sent out by Tim Corbin, and this one's bounced. Going to be a tough play by Hall. He is not going to be able to make the play, so Diaz is going to reach safely over there at first. One, two to Polk, and it plunked him. Right on that guard on the elbow, and he reaches for the second time today. As well as plenty of guys on the bench who didn't start today. As this is laced out to left field. This is way back. It is gone. Oh my goodness. Three run shot off the bat of Espinal. We said who's going to deliver for Vandy. How about number 45? You know, Alex, I've been coming to baseball games for a long time here at Hawkins Field. That's the fastest I've ever seen a ball get out of here. That that got out of here in probably two seconds or maybe even under that. That was unbelievable. And it, got, it probably didn't get, what, 12 feet off the ground? 
an absolute monster smash. I put a dent in the foul pole out there. Holy cow. Espinal, second bomb of the year. I don't think the wind helped that ball at all. No. Didn't have, the wind didn't have time to help that ball. Yeah. As now Bradfield Jr. gets hit on the wrist. And remember, he needs one stolen base. He's going. Could get the record here. Throw to second is in time. No record here on this stolen base attempt. What a throw. And a cannon behind the plate in, Hunter, in Henry Hunter. Two from Horn to Abernathy. Low ball four. Dangerous 3-1 to Hall. Who takes outside, and now the tying run is coming to the plate here. Has been added to try and speed things up. Big 2-2, two -two. foul tipped into the mid of Espinal. A huge strikeout for the freshman Horn. And then was a staple in the lineup the rest of the way. And now a four pitch walk to Hewitt by Warwick. He's bunt again. He does, and it's down. Warwick gonna have to field this position. Fires to first, nice play for the first out. Better bunt by Parker Nolan. One, two. Right center. It's going to be caught out there in right field. No, it was dropped. Oh, my goodness. The second straight day we've seen a misplay in the outfield. Boy, that was a pretty easy one. And not sure if Brunswick lost it in the lights. But, boy, you can't have a mistake like that against this team. 2-1. Ripped left center this time. Vastine continues his tear of opposing pitchers. One run will score. They're going to hold Diaz at third. It's another RBI double for Jonathan Vastine. Commodores lead at 6-1. See, as a hitter, I mean, I think that was more exciting than the, uh, than the home run. I mean, what a heck of a job of hitting. A nice, easy swing, fastball on the outside corner. Ball just explodes off his bat, gets some good backspin. That thing rides all the way to the fence. Hasn't really had to take the bat off the shoulder so far today, and he won't have to again. He gets plunked for a second time, and boy, that doesn't feel good. Ball looks like a beach ball coming up here to the Espinal. 3-0 is inside ball four, and John Luke Marlin walks in a run after he hits Bulk. This one's hit out to right. It's going to be caught this time in right field by Brunschwig, but it's going to be a sacrifice fly and a productive at bat, especially with two strikes there for Bradfield Jr. Commodore's up by seven. At uh, the beginning of the game by the coaches. Tough play. Lewis Jr., he kind of stayed back there, and Austin beat it. Boy, I'm a little surprised there that Lewis Jr. stayed back advantage right and the crowd of course a big one as Shrek bounces out to second to end the inning we'll talk more about home field advantage but faded it looked like it was going to come in about 8 39 o'clock another hit by pitch as Hewitt gets plunked here to start this bottom of the sixth inning Hewitt goes good pitch to run on throw to second not in time picked a great pitch to run on out of the 98 about half of them Curve ball, infield was in. It's over the head of Lewis Jr. Into left, Diaz delivers, and he was thinking about two. A big turn at first, and puts on the brakes. That's great situational hitting. He had the infield in. 2-2 two -two to Polk. This is deep to left. It is way back there, and it is gone! Matthew Polk hits his second home run of the season. The second homer of the night for Vanderbilt. And Vandy boys lead it 12 to one here in the sixth. Oh my goodness. That was with two strikes. You don't see that two strike uh, swing much from a lot of guys, but I mentioned before, Tim Corbin said he attacks the game. Take a look at the swing. That's a fastball, runs over the middle of the plate, kind of missed his spot. It pegs one of those nice little seats out there in left center. Matthew Reed into the game as Espinal looking for his second. Look out! Oh my goodness! Off the building back there! His second jack of the night. Back to back for Vandy. 13 to 1. Wow. That's all I gotta say is wow. 
Oh, he got a pitch, took a swing, and he didn't miss it. That might be an understatement. Take a look at the swing here. It looked like it was a hanging breaking ball over the monster in left field. Yeah, guys, and they're all looking at the monitor replay of that one. You had the two different swings and home runs from him today, but that one looked effortless, and that one went far. 2-1, in on the hands, and this could do it as Nolan applies the tag. Run rule in effect. The Commodores win it 13-1 over UAB. Final thoughts, partner. I think Commodores did a great, I mean, it started with the pitching. You had Carter, Horn, and Ginther really got the Commodores an opportunity to win.